welcome. Happy Mother's Day, Angela. Happy Mother's Day to everyone wishing it to me, whether you are or whether you're not. <laughs> but there's always someone that you can be a spiritual mother to, right? A mentor, a friend, kind of a stand in the gap kind of person. All right. As a mother, it's totally annoying me that I have a basket of clean laundry I need to put away. So I'm going to just hide it from the shot so I'm not looking at it the whole time going, I need to put the laundry away. <clears throat> out of sight, out of mind, right? Okay, hey Sheree, hey Anadit. Good morning, Rodrigo. Thank you for the Mother's Day wishes. Um, did you guys do anything special today for your mom? Hey, Lucas. Thanks, Angela. You've got good taste. <laughs> um, so some people haven't. Hey, Manuel. So, you know, Mother's Day, for the most part, for most people, is... Um, Lucas, I'm good. Is, is a good day. You know, it's a day to be celebrated. It's a day to celebrate someone who cares about you. Hey, Benjamin. Hey, Pretel. Hey, Derek. Hey, Ro. Shanae. Did I say your name right? But for other people, today is eh, a day that's not so great. Thank you, Mario. Kenzie, hi. Um... <clears throat> So thank you guys for all the Mother's Day wishes. Today, I mean, besides answering your questions, oh, Pretal is from Tanzania. Besides answering your questions, I want to, you know, talk about, you know, what do you do when your mom is not so great of a mom? Thank you, Frank, for the Mother's Day wishes. Lucas, I don't know what I'm going to do um, today. Uh, well, we're going to go to church. Thank you, Brittany, right back at you. Happy Mother's Day. I'm um, probably going to try to attempt to go to my favorite restaurant. Here's the thing with my favorite Chinese restaurant. It annoys me because many times when I go there, they're not open. Like they have their regular hours posted, but many times I show up and they're closed. <laughs> I know, first world problems. I should not even be complaining about it because I get to go to a restaurant today. Hey, Hugo. Hey, Liberty. But I tried to go there for Easter, and I was like, you know, sometimes they just close randomly. So I made sure to call. Um, I made sure to call beforehand, and they said, yes, we'll be open for Easter. And I got there with my crew of people, and were they open? No. No, they weren't. They said they were going to be. Uh, let's see. Blue Chris, how are you? We've got Rajasi. Rajazi, maybe. I don't know. Um... <laughs> Lily's like, there's too many Chinese restaurants in my area, but I have one favorite one. Good morning, Karen. And it's a vegan one. So, you know, I like to support the... I, I can get other stuff at regular Chinese restaurants. Yes, I can get a plate of vegetables and rice anywhere. But I like to, whenever I can, support the cruelty-free restaurants. So I, you know, I don't necessarily want to support the restaurants that are slaughtering animals. So, um, you know, when I can, I choose to go to vegetarian restaurants whenever possible. Oh, uh, thank you, Roger. You saw the card that Timothy made for me. <laughs> it was funny. So I'm trying to get Timothy to put the dishes away because it's Mother's Day, whatever. I try to get him to put the dishes away every day. Hey, Nicola. And I'm <laughs> the difference. Timmy's hugging me and he made me this nice card. And he's like, I'm going to do whatever you want today because it's Mother's Day, whatever. I'm getting ready. And Eli, I think it's Eli asked me, what am I doing? I was like, I'm putting on my makeup, you know, so I can look good for Mother's Day. I was like, I said to Eli, do I look good? He says, no, you look fat. <laughs> That's the difference between my 14 year old and my three year old. My three year old's like, no, you look fat. I was like, do you even know what that means, Elijah? I'm not fat. <laughs> it was funny. But he's been reading this book, The Hungry Caterpillar. And I think the cat, the book talks about the caterpillar getting fat because he's eating all these 
I don't know, whatever. I think that's where he got that from. He's like, you're fat like the caterpillar. I was like, okay, thank you, Eli. <laughs> uh, hi, Lizzie. Hey, Gazelle. Oh, uh, Nicholas says he loves that book. So <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have already done your Mother's Day celebration. I don't know what your relationship is with your mother. Hey, Wolf Boy, I don't know if you had a good one. I don't know if you had a mean one, a demanding one, an unloving or uncaring one. So I want to talk a little bit about, you know, besides answering your questions like I always do. Um, oh, Nicholas says Mother's Day in the UK is in March. Uh, thank you, Giselle. Is it Giselle? Maybe I'm saying it wrong. I'm sorry if I am. I want to talk a little bit about, you know, kind of what to do um, if you have kind of a strained relationship with your mom. Jane the Shy Gaming Roblox is here. Thank you for the compliment on my acting. Uh, Roshani says, my mom is great, so I'm, I'm so annoying. I don't know how she puts up with me. Oh, you're sweet. And thank you, Pritel. Um, pardon me as I drink my breakfast smoothie. I should do that before I get on my live streams, but sometimes I run out of time because I'm doing so many other things first. Um, Lily says she went to a Chinese restaurant on Mother's Day, too. Okay, so if you had a mother that was not so great, and this day is kind of like, Mother's Day for you is kind of like, you don't know what to do. Because it's just, you've got a lot of past memories that maybe weren't good. Um, so number one, I would say be honest with how you feel. You don't have to... Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Cindy. You don't have to be, um, oh, it's a great day. It's, you know, you can be honest with how you feel. It's okay to be honest. It's okay if you're not loving this day. And, and no one should tell you how you should feel, right? We each have our own stuff we've been through, our own issues. Nobody has walked in your shoes, right? Um, so just, just, it's okay to not be great, like feel the way you need to feel about it. Number two, I think the second thing we need to do, hey, Emilio, if we have a mother in our life that's not so great is, is think of your boundaries. What are your boundaries? What are you going to allow and what are you not going to allow? You know, what are you going to put up with? What are you not going to put up with? Right? Um, Daniel, I don't know where those people are. Maybe they're busy doing something for Mother's Day. I don't know. So, <clears throat> it can be different situations. Maybe your mom did not treat you well. Hey, Noah. And, and maybe you don't feel comfortable spending time with her on Mother's Day. That's possible. Elaine is here. So, that's a whole other thing, too. Maybe you don't feel comfortable spending time personally with your mom, but, you know, maybe honoring her, you know, it's still a thing that we have to think about and do. So, and I don't mean have to, like, somebody, like, beat you up, your mom beat you up, put you in a coma, you have to, like... We're going to get into this more. We're going to break this down a little bit more. Most moms are not like that. I would say 90% of moms are pretty good in doing their best, right? None of us are perfect. <clears throat> but if you don't feel comfortable spending time with your mom, how about just having a 15-minute phone call with her? And just stick to talking about topics that aren't triggering to you. Not bring up the past. Let's not bring up the past. Let's... You know, it's okay to stand up for yourself. It's okay to set your boundaries. It's okay to say, Mom, I'm, I'm honoring you today. You know, if you had a mom that wasn't so great, I'm honoring you today and I'm grateful for you giving me life. I'm grateful for, you know, you providing for me, right? Because even not so great moms or abusive moms, they probably still put clothes on your back. They probably still fed you, hopefully, most of the time. So, you know, on this day, if you're wanting to find a way to show honor to them, you know, you can focus on those positive things they did, right? They didn't 
throw you out on the street, hopefully, you know. Um, so it's like, it's bittersweet, you know, it's hard to talk about. And you guys might have fresh wounds from this, right? <clears throat> so it's okay to stand up for yourself and say, um, Mom, I, I appreciate you and I want to honor you this day, but if you're going to talk about all the stuff I did in the past or all the stuff you're not happy with me about, can we, can we do, not just... I'm the sponsor man! Can we just not talk about that today? You know? Um, I I'm the sponsor man! Well, I guess we got some people wanting to say hi. Uh, today's sponsor was The Sims 2. Yes, I got the game. Yes, you do. And plus, and there's four dishes in there. Plus, you have to go for pain installation. Because it's painful. And it's painful to uninstall and reinstall it. So, I take mommy's advice to stop uninstalling games. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And then, can you probably what's inside? Well, let me, let me. Oh. I guess this turned into show and tell. Uh, yes, Wolf Boy, I have a 14 year old and a 3 year old. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is just four dishes. This is just one that actual game that works. Okay, can we make this quick, please? Disc two. They, you're not even holding it up for anyone to see, so it's kind of like Dicks beside three. the point. <clears throat> Disc four. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Roshana, I know some people think that Elijah is a girl, but he's actually a boy. Oh yeah. I I think because he's got such cute hair and cute eyes, people think he's a girl sometimes. But it's a boy. They're both boys. Yeah. Anyways, he sends two on eBay or Amazon. Thank you for today's sponsor. By the way, by the way, not sponsored. By the way, not sponsored by Electric Arts. That's right. Not sponsored. We're spon oh. sponsored by Mom. Yeah, that today's Mother's Day. By the way, so kiss my me, kiss my, kiss me, kiss me. You kiss me. Okay. Bye, y'all. I knew you didn't want lipstick on. Bye, y'all. <laughs> okay. Okay, go play with your brother. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Whoa! You're going to tip this over. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, this is getting a little, little, little wobbly. Can you close the door, please? Yes, you will. Thanks, bud. Okay. So, you can, it's okay to set boundaries. <laughs> Kate is asking if I'm ticklish. Ah! I don't know. Probably, maybe. I don't know. I don't pay that much attention. I don't really have anybody trying to tickle me, so um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, third option. If you had a mother that wasn't so great, it's totally okay just to ignore the day. Just to pretend like it's a regular day. If you're not in contact with your mom, if your mom doesn't want to have anything to do with you, it's okay just to Pretend like today is another day. I had a friend that was like that. Um, if you guys read my book, Poetic Prescription for Plaguing Problems, uh, <laughs> Frank, <laughs> maybe, um, there's a book in there called Your Mama Didn't Love You and Your Daddy Didn't Care. And that's a true story. It's a true story about a friend of mine. And guys, if you want to see, I, I made a video on here on my YouTube channel called Your Mama Didn't Love You and Your Daddy Didn't Care. And it's a true story of my friend and I, I co-made it with um, footage from my friend's film, Whole, and I cut it together with the poem to tell the story. Anyway, so if you, it's Mother's Day, a lot of you had great moms, but a few of you have mentioned that you didn't. So. Another thing you can do is treat yourself the way you would want to be treated. Your mom may have not treated you well, so you may be treating yourself poorly, right? You may be going, well, my mom didn't love me, so you treat yourself bad. You act like you're unworthy. And I want to tell you guys, just because somebody doesn't know your worth, doesn't perceive your value, doesn't mean you're not worthy. Let's see, is it Kla? Thank you for the compliment on my acne. Uh, just because someone doesn't perceive your 
value or your worth doesn't mean you have any, doesn't mean you have less of it. So treat, even if your mother didn't treat you this way, treat yourself with gentleness, with love, with respect, with encouragement. Um, Nicola is asking what made me post an extra video yesterday because I normally don't. I'm trying to post a video every day leading up to my online course coming out. So my You Are Worthy course, as you guys know, maybe I've been working on this for four years, is finally going public on May 20th. So I'm posting a lot leading up to that, giving you some ideas of some of the content in the course, talking about the different things in it. And on the 20th of May, that's next, not this coming Friday, but the following Friday. Um, hey, Jojo, I'm going to have um, a free training, a webinar called How to Love Yourself Even If You Don't Like Yourself. And it's going to kind of give you some of the ideas of how to, you know, how to be better to yourself. And, you know, this is kind of on top of this. If you weren't treated right, sometimes you don't treat yourself right. Like you think, well, if those who were supposed to love me don't love me or don't treat me well, maybe I'm not that great. Hey, Bryn. So, <clears throat> wow. You have to love yourself and treat yourself the way you would want to be treated. You don't want to perpetuate that. Roshane, I'm sorry you're saying that you hate yourself. Please come to my webinar next, um, next Friday, the Friday, May 20th. The workshop is called How to Love Yourself Even If You Don't Like Yourself. Okay, so it's just going to be like an hour and a half or two hour training and teaching. And at the end of it, I'm going to tell you about my online course that is going to be open for enrollment for probably five days. And then I'm going to close it down and maybe open it up again in six months. Um, the training next Friday the 20th is free. The course, there's a charge for that, but I'll tell you about that at the end of the free training. So, <clears throat> yes, so you could just ignore the day. Number four, treat yourself the way you wish your mom had treated you or the way you wished your parents had treated you. Be kind with yourself. Give yourself grace. Be generous with yourself, okay? And, you know, lastly, you know, I'll, I'll be answering your questions after this. This is my last point. For those of you who are believers, we know that the Bible says to honor your father and your mother, that, that everything may go well with you. Um, no, Nicola, the, the free training is going to be Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. East Coast Time. I just had to pick a time that I thought would work. I was gonna do two that day, but it didn't work out to, to do that. So when we honor someone, just because you honor someone, it doesn't mean you condone everything they do. It doesn't mean you approve of everything they do. It doesn't mean you love everything they do. But God does command us to honor our father and mother, that it may go well with us, that our life maybe th that it may go well and but just because you honor someone doesn't mean you're going to say oh yes keep hurting me keep treating me bad keep walking all over me keep you know you don't have to do that <laughs> max t hicks yes i do play karen sometimes on dar man um so one way to show honor is just to love your mom unconditionally, to love your dad unconditionally. That means you don't have expectations. You know, sometimes we get hurt. And guys, you guys who have questions for me, as soon as I'm done with this last key point, then type your questions in again and then I'll start to, to really answer them. But let me finish this thought first. To love them unconditionally doesn't mean you're like, oh yes, please inflict more pain on me, treat me bad, ignore me, throw my gift I gave you in the trash, tear up my nice card I got you, you know, it doesn't mean you want more of that, but you're honoring them just like showing honor to someone 
that had a key role in your life, a key importance. Like, you know, we may have, you know, whatever your voting status is, I'm just using this as an example, maybe it ch you know, changes every four years or every eight years. Maybe the person in office you don't like at some point in your voting years and you're like, I don't want that per I don't like that person in office, but you honor them for the office that they held. They are the president of the United States. They should be treated with respect. That, 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 so like not bad mouthing them, not tearing them down, not making off color jokes about them, not, you know, you, you can disagree with somebody's policies, just like you can disagree with how someone may treat you, but they hold a certain office, okay? So your mother, your father, the, they hold an office of giving you birth. So if we're going to honor them, one fact that we can celebrate is that they gave us life. Maybe that's the only thing they did. Maybe there's no other contribution that they did that you think is worthy. But we can be grateful for the gift of life, right? Now we get to decide what we do with our life. And we get to, hey Finley, uh, we get to decide how we're going to live our life now. Maybe they didn't have any contribution to us. Maybe they gave us away for adoption. Uh, maybe they didn't want us, whatever it is. Um, now we get to decide what we do with our life. And just because someone doesn't love us, honor us, value us, doesn't mean we shouldn't love them back, right? And loving someone back doesn't necessarily mean they get to walk all over you, all right? And just, just being clear that just because we're honoring someone doesn't mean we put up with their treatment of us. And, and lastly, one way you can show love is to be a light, to be a light of God, to, to treat her with the same love, honor, and respect that you wished she would have given you, right? You treat her, you don't return evil for evil, right? Scripture talks about that. If they're being hateful towards you, you don't be hateful back. Oh yeah, well you never did this for you, never cared about me, you're not a good mom. It's not, it's not, even if it's true, that's, but that's not how we show honor. You know what, I'm sorry, I'm sorry you don't see my value. I know God loves me and and I love you mom for 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 giving me life and for clothing me and feeding me and I'm I'm sorry you don't know how to treat me in a way that respects respects who I am or honors me but you know I'm grateful for the gift of life you've given me and if we can't have a relationship on earth it's okay. I I will keep praying for you and I I, my goal is to show the love of God to you. You clearly, well, maybe don't say this part. You clearly don't know who God is because of how you treat me. But, you know, it's, it's showing, it's being that light. It's being that godly person that they weren't to you. Okay. Um, Angela said, I said the same words to my mom this morning. Okay, you guys who had questions, let ask away. Thank you, Alicia. Ask away. <laughs> okay. Have you ever met Belinda Carlisle? I love her and I want to roller skate with her in Los Angeles one day. I have not. But when I was a teenager, um... I used to go roller skating and people would, people used to tell me I looked like her. Um, I honestly don't even know what she looks like. I don't know what she looks like now, but when I was a teenager, I was told that I looked like her. So, all right, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I'll try to think of something and get back to you. Uh, oh, no. Roshane asks, what is Darman like in real life? Well, from what I can tell, he's very kind. Um, he's very kind and considerate and, and caring. Uh, 
I haven't spent a lot of time with him, you know. Uh, I see him in passing. I see him, I don't know, maybe once every few months at the studio. Uh, twice we've had a dinner, but that was pre-COVID. So the first time he reached like a billion views, he took the main actors out to dinner. And then I think when he reached two billion views, or maybe it was five, he took all the actors out to dinner, but then COVID happened. And we haven't had a dinner since. So um, he seems nice, he seems caring, he seems genuine. Uh, so that's all I can say. I have nothing, nothing bad to say. Um, who is your best friend in Dharma? Man, Nicola asks, uh, I don't have a best friend. Um, you know, when you get to be an adult, I don't, I, well, for me anyway, I don't know. I don't have like a best friend, like the number one favorite friend. You just, you get to be friendly with everyone. And I think also when you get married, your spouse kind of becomes your best friend. Granted, that doesn't mean you could talk about everything with your spouse because, you know, Guys just sometimes don't want to hear hear it. <laughs> so, you know, it's important to have girlfriends. Uh, girls that you're friendly with that you can tell stuff to that your husband doesn't want to hear. Um, okay. Uh, Derek, thank you for the gift. He asks, how do you make a living as an actress when most actors don't make a living? Well, to be honest, Derek, I don't think I actually make a living. I couldn't lead the life I'm living now solely off my acting proceeds. Um, yeah, there's no way. I, I don't even know if I could have, I don't even know if I could have a studio apartment and live in Los Angeles for how expensive it is out here. So I'm able to make it, um, number one, because my husband also contributes to my income. Number two, because I have a rental property and I have uh, some money coming in from that. Number three, book sales. Number four, soon to be online course sales. Number five, I do coaching. So, uh, you know, people pay me to help them with, uh, help them reach their goals and get over their issues in life. And other other acting gigs and speaking engagements and a lot of different, a lot of different, I have a lot, and most actors in LA have a lot of different side hustles. Acting is their love and sometimes they're getting paid for it, but they have a lot of side hustles. Maybe they're driving Uber on days they're not acting. Maybe they're, you know, I would probably, I had a, a job for a, a long time as an actor, but then once I had kids, it didn't really pay because the cost of daycare. So it doesn't really pay for me to go do some minimum wage job because more than half my paycheck would be gone towards childcare. So it doesn't really pay for me to work. Now, if I had like a college degree and had some big fancy corporate job on a salary that was great pay, then it might pay for me to work, but then that kind of job probably wouldn't be flexible when I needed to take off for acting. Okay, when are you going to be in a Darman video? Well, I was in one, Alicia, that came out Thursday. Who's seen it? I haven't seen it yet. I think it was about a bake sale. I haven't had a chance to see it yet. Um, I feel like I've been shooting a lot. So I shot three different ones this week. So I'm going to be in at least three coming up. Um, Pat Jones asks, will Dar Man ever play, ever pay as much as a TV show in the future? Well, if I had a crystal ball and I could tell the future, if I could see into the future, I would be rich off stocks because I would know what stocks were going to go up and I would buy lots of shares. No, I don't know. I don't know. See, it's different rules. He's, he's a non-union show and... Um, most TV shows are under the union. Thank you for the love gift, Angela. I was really happy when you liked a post I did on Instagram, inspired by you. 
Will you be Mikey's mom? I was Mikey's mom twice this week. So there's two videos coming out with Mikey. <laughs> uh, CJ says he saw the video. Awesome. Awesome. Um, what are you drinking? Okay. This is wild blueberries with bananas and oranges and spirulina and barley grass and uh, I think it's called moringa leaf powder and Atlantic dulse. I normally put cilantro in too, but I ran out. It's, it's like a heavy metal detox smoothie. Milu said it looks good. Um, I love the reaction video with Rebecca. <laughs> oh my gosh, Battle of the Karens. That was kind of crazy. Brittany said, I've seen it. If I would, if I, I would if I had some words for that lady, that single mom girl. I don't have time to bake. Get over it. Yeah, a lot of mom guilt that we have sometimes. We're not doing enough. Baked Potato says, glad to hear you're still doing Darman videos. You're an amazing actress. Thank you. Pat Jones says, Catherine, is your vegan diet the reason you look 20 years younger than you really are? I don't think I look 20 years younger, but thank you. Um, maybe. <laughs> mm. What do you think of Rachel Christensen? She's really nice. Is she the one that sometimes plays Colin's wife? There's a Rachel that plays Colin's wife. Is that her last name? Um, if that if that's the one you're thinking, she seems lovely. I think I've met her once, once or twice. You see, if 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 she's there, that usually means I'm not, because if she's she, we could usually play the same kind of roles. Um, but you seem really nice, and if it's the same actor I'm thinking of, uh, the one that plays Colin's wife when I'm not there, she's, she's, I just saw an a, a audition video she put up. She's good. I like her. Oh, that's her. Okay. She's, did you see the audition video she put up on her, on her Instagram page? It was, it was really good. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So, um, back to your question about looking younger on a vegan diet. I think part of it is the fruits and vegetables and, but there's a lot that goes into it. So I don't do caffeine anymore. That de kind of dehydrates you and dries you out. I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke cigarettes. And I, I'm not like up all night, party girl, not getting enough sleep. Sleep is very important and staying hydrated. So many people do not drink enough water. I'm drinking a minimum of 12 cups of water a day. Some days, 16. Some days I'm drinking a full gallon. Um, so I always like to tell people when they're like, because I have some friends that are kind of got lines on their face and they're like, how come you don't have like wrinkles? And I said, well, do you know what the difference is between a grape and a raisin? It's just water content. So... There's some before and afters you can see online if you type in like 30 day water challenge. People have done like photos of themselves like back when they only drink four or five cups of water a day and then they do drink a gallon a day for 30 days and you can see their skin really improves. Thank you, Nicola. So I think drinking enough water, you know, not doing the things that dehydrate you. Um, I'm trying to avoid the sun now. I used to go in the sun way too much. And I have some sun damage from it, from the years I used to go in the sun. But I think, you know, if you want to stay youthful, a lot of it is just your, I don't know, how you feel about life. That's part of it, too. Okay, thank you, silent gentlemen, for the Mother's Day wishes. Uh, Jarrell says, when you started acting, did you think you were still going to be doing it 22 years later? I didn't think that far ahead. I did not think that far ahead. Um, I guess I had hoped it might be my lifetime career. I mean, it's not like I had a plan B. <laughs> I mean, I kind of have a plan B now. Um, it's not really a plan B though. It's not like if acting doesn't work, I'm going to do this. There's something I love writing and I love um, speaking 
and I love coaching and I love making my online courses. So huh, there's a lot I like to do that I'm doing in conjunction. And so um, I just, you know, when I'm like next week, they haven't booked me to work on anything. So I'm like, yay! I get to work on my books. I get to work on my writing. I get to work on my course. So I kind of feel bad for the people who their only thing is acting and they eat, sleep and breathe acting because you don't always have control of your acting career. You're, you know, you, you can submit every day, all day for all the projects, but if they don't call you to audition or if you audition and they don't book you for a role and you're just home going, why isn't anybody calling? What's going on? How can I get, and you're, you're whole, you're caught up in this whole like, Notice me, find me, give me a part. That is exhausting and that gets you second guessing yourself, right? So have other hobbies, have other things that you like to do. What brings you joy? And, and when you're not getting the call, when you're not booked on anything, go do those other things that bring you fulfillment, right? Okay, so let's take a look at some of your questions. Um, <laughs> Blake just got out of church. Uh, Angela, I'm so, let's see. Uh, oh, Ricky, why did Ricky quit Dar Man? She said she would explain, but it didn't really say. You know what, Pat? I've never had a discussion with her about it. So I can't, I can't speak for her. I don't know um, why. I'm hoping to work with her soon. Um... Okay, should I announce this? It's not set in stone. If I tell you something that I hope is a possibility, don't be mad if it doesn't happen, okay? But I'm currently working on a project that I believe I'm going to hire Reiki to be in, and you guys are going to see it when it's done. So that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say what it is. Um, but I'm going to have her in one of my projects. So that will be awesome. Okay, let's see. Will your children return to the live? They are really cute. I told them to stay out of here, okay? <laughs> it's hard, guys, it's hard to like focus and think when they're, it's like this, whoa, it's, sometimes it's like a chaotic kind of energy. And you just have to like, give me, a, give me some space, give me some, Oh, I saw a funny video the other day <laughs> where it was like this woman did a video and it was like, what people think mothers want on Mother's Day. And it showed like her sleeping in and the kids bringing breakfast in bed and extra cuddles and dad bringing flowers. And she's like, what mothers really want on Mother's Day. And it showed like the dad with the two kids and the mom like, <laughs> I would love to have a day to myself. <laughs> like, Mother's Day, thank you. That means I get a break from motherhood. Yes. Um, I don't know. Some days I really feel like that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Baked Potato asks, can you give us a heads up when your book comes out? I want to read it. I'm trying to decide on which date I'm going to launch my book. Which date am I going to do it? Um, I'm hoping it'll be in June. I'm going to have an Amazon best-selling book in June. Uh, that's the goal. And I will let you know more as it gets closer. I've already been working with different ideas for the book cover. And maybe I'll get you guys to vote on that. I would love to. I'd love to get your feedback on that. Okay, let's see. Can Darman make a video about the group home because my friend was in a group home and the people in the group were mean. I mean, I, maybe there's a way you can like email them and give suggestions. I don't know how they find their ideas. Rogue Ninja says, when we gonna see you in a new video? So I don't know when they edit them and put them together, but I think there's at least three or four that I've been in that haven't been seen yet. Okay. If you had to live in another country, where would it be? 
Oh my goodness. You know what? I haven't done enough research, Nicola, on other countries and what they have to offer. <laughs> so I don't, I don't really know. Have you ever seen that movie Green Book? No, I don't think I did. Is that the, is that the movie Green Book? Is that the movie where the, it took place like in the fifties and then it was like a musician and the, was it the one about the black musician and the white guy was driving him? It, I feel like I saw the preview for that. I haven't seen the movie, if, if that's the movie you're talking about. I don't know. Is Aiden still in Darn Man? Yes, I believe so. Wasn't he just in one recently? I think he was. Okay, let's see. Why did Briani Walker stop doing Darn Man? I don't know if she did. Who says she did? I mean, I saw rumors about it, but then I saw her and Sophia posting, guys, that's not true. She hasn't left. Why are you saying that? So I don't even know if that's true or if that's a rumor. Okay, let's see. Trying to get to your questions. Catherine, it would be great to meet Ricky in one of your live sessions. Oh, okay. Let me, um... Let me write that down. Maybe I'll have her. You guys like it when I sometimes interview people. If I do that, if I do like a live stream like with a guest like once a month, would you guys like that? Vote. If I get at least five people saying, yes, we want to see more people. I, I've, also, uh, I've also talked to Ayana about possibly coming on. So, you know, give me your suggestions. And I will, I will ask. Okay, let's see. Let's see, don't, let's see. Would you ever want to be in a Netflix film? <sighs> you mean one made by Netflix? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to do that, but I wouldn't mind being in a film that just so happened to be distributed by Netflix. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Catherine, did you really have anxiety before? I used to have it, and I can remember some very moments where I was, like, really, really anxious and, like, even to the point of panic attacks before. Um, I feel like I've talked about that in some of my videos, and did I talk about it in my course? I don't remember. Um, I have struggled with that in the past. Okay. Elena says the interviews you do are great. Thank you. Uh, welcome Molly. Hi, Sharon, a seven. Would you ever do horror films? Silent gentleman asks. I've done many horror films. Have you seen my horror film called cannibal corpse killers? Let me show you. <clears throat> It's still available in Walmart, but it was in Walmart. And right now it's available on iTunes, Vudu, Tubi, PlayStation, Xbox, Redbox, YouTube, Fandango Now, Google Play, and Amazon Prime. So I starred in this movie, I produced this movie, I executive produced this movie. I found distribution for this movie. Um, I've also in, if you guys ever saw Karate Kid or Rambo. So the bad guy in Karate Kid and who's also the bad guy in Cobra Kai, I did a horror film with him. His name is Martin Cove. That's called Reality Terror Night. You can find that. I did a couple other, I've done a few horror films. One is called Hole, which is from the same, that's H-O-L-E, same director of this. Um, I think I did a couple, I did a couple of his. So yes, I've done horror films and I would consider doing them in the, in the future. Okay, what did I miss? Type in your question if I've missed it. 
Uh, yes, we want more Darman guests. Yes, yes. So we got three yeses so far. Alicia says, hey, Catherine, one of my team was bullying me because I was bad at a sport and I can't take it anymore. What should I do? Ignore them. It, who cares if you're not good at a sport? I mean, I, in school, they force us to do all these different things, all these different classes, all these different sports. You know, in some ways it's cool, they want you to be well-rounded, in other ways it's cool because you you get when you get a little taste of everything, you kind of figure out what you are drawn to. Like, ooh, I like this, I like basketball, or there's something about volleyball or geometry, and you kind of think of what you're gonna do with your future. So getting exposed to all those different things is great, but you don't have to be good at everything. And so, like now, if, if if I try something I'm not good at, and somebody tries to make fun of me about it, it's like they're the loser, not me. Frank is saying badminton was his favorite. I don't even know if I know what badminton is. Is that something with a racket? So, I it's it's their problem. If somebody's making fun of you, they have the issue. You don't have the issue. Okay, Frank says badminton's like tennis. Okay, that's not the one with the 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 frilly thing, the white. It's got like a half rounded ball on one side, and it's got like it something that fans out. That's white. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Um, just ignore their comments. Who cares if you're not good at a certain sport? We're not always gonna be good at everything we do. Please just ignore them. It is not worth, it is not worth you getting upset about. Okay, um, Nicola, tips on anxiety. Please type my name into YouTube and with the word anxiety. I think I've made two or three videos on it, okay? Uh, Editing Lakes asks, do you ever feel insecure about yourself? It's something I struggle with. I used to feel that way a lot. Now, I wouldn't say I'm immune to it. I would say it's a whole lot less. Um, can you give me an example of some of the things that you feel insecure about? Maybe that might, that might help me hone in more on. Um, Emilio, my favorite color is turquoise. Um... What is your favorite Darman video you've been in? Imagine Eva asks. I have a video here on my YouTube channel. Please type in my eight favorite Darman videos I've been in. And then that will answer that question. Um, bye, Lily. Let's see. Uh, I'm bad at PE. When my team loses, I get blamed. Well, you gotta just ignore it. If it's a team effort, and your team loses, Every, everyone is on the team. You're not the only one on the team, so how are you getting, getting, oh, this doesn't make any sense. Blake, I don't know if, Re I'm sure Rebecca is in some videos coming up. I'm sure she is. Um, Pat asks, if I can talk about Timmy being in a Darman video, how did it happen? Did they call him knowing he was perfect or did you submit him for the role? Was he happy he finally got to be in one? He was so happy. Um, he kind of acted like it was no big deal. But he was asking me, like, for years, I want to be in Darman. How come I'm not in a Darman episode? But he doesn't want to be an actor or anything. So I actually met a lady who represents special needs talent. And I asked Timmy, do you want to have an agent? And he's like, nah. So he doesn't, he doesn't really want to do it. Um, I think he enjoyed it. I don't know. I don't, they must have, you know, Ruben, the head, the guy who runs Darman Studios, he must have remembered, he knew my son with special needs. I brought him to set once early on before they had the studios when they were still shooting at the penthouse. I brought him to set. So my babysitter canceled last minute and they knew he had special needs. I don't know if they specifically remembered he had cerebral palsy, but that's what they cast him as. And it just so happened that week he was having a bad, he was having leg issues and having a hard time walking. So I was pushing him around that week in a stroller a lot. So I brought his stroller and his walker. Um, typically he can walk, most days he can walk without his walker. He, 
falls down a lot less when he's wearing his leg braces. Elena said she was in rugby. Yeah, I think he enjoyed it. He would probably do it again. I thought he would look pretty natural. He didn't look like he was overacting or anything. Um, Emilio, a good point. He said, usually when they bully you, it's because they have the issue in their lives and they just want you to feel the same. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Blake wants me to interview Rebecca. Okay. I'm writing it down. I'm making a list, guys. Uh, let's see. When Elizabeth and Ricky are, when are Elizabeth and Ricky coming back to Darman? I don't know if they are. I, I, I don't know anything about it. You guys will have to ask them. Return them before the end. Let them tell us bye. Aw. You guys can follow them on their pages and see what else they're doing. Just because somebody quits Darn Man doesn't mean they quit acting, right? Just like I was an actor 18 years before Darn Man doesn't mean <laughs> I'm going to stop. If I ever stop acting for Darn Man, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to stop acting in other things. So hopefully you guys can see them in other things. It's just Darn Man is such a big platform and it has so many views that seems like it's, you know, it does get you more notice. It's because a lot of films I was in before, they either didn't get distributed or had a very small audience or they didn't know how to market it. So, yeah. Have you, Big Potato asks, have you seen one of those videos that are like Dar Man? Like, for example, Life Lessons with Lewis. Um, I haven't seen any of his and I haven't seen any of the other, I haven't seen any of the, the bigger fake or copycat channels. I saw a very, very small channel trying to do what they did, but it was terrible. I don't even remember the name of the channel, but it was terrible. Okay, let's see. Okay, Nicola wants me to interview Shantae. Well, Shantae was at my house this week, so I don't think that would be a problem. Uh, and then somebody, let's see. Oh, thank you, Sylvie. She's wishing me happy Mother's Day. Hey, Alaya, Alaya Jones. Silent Gentleman, what's the best 80s film that you like? Oh, gosh, 80s films. I don't know if I remember. I was more of a 90s person. I was more of a 90s film and, and music person. I, I don't really remember. What was, what was in the 80s? Was Goonies in the 80s? I'm sorry. I, I should go back and watch some 80s movies. I don't, I don't know. Okay, Blake says I got an offer for a Darman videos, but it was for a background role. It's best if I play lead roles because I can't afford to fly to LA for a small role. Oh, yeah, I understand. Did they have you audition for that, Blake? Did you turn in an audition tape? Let me know. Okay, Elena wants me to interview Shaylin. That would be great. That guy's an interesting guy. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Shaylin Bowers. Yeah, I, I chat with him occasionally on Instagram. Um, okay, Lily, I think, oh, I don't know if I've played Chinese chess, but there was a game as a kid I used to play at my grandma's house, and I think we called it Chinese Checkers. And the board, I think, had might have been shaped like a star, and there was marbles on it. I don't know if that's the same thing. Uh, Nicholas says, guys, if people bully you, remember it's their problem, not yours. They have insecurities themselves. So true. Okay, Blake is begging me not to quit, darn man. <laughs> Lucas, yes, I shot three this week. Okay. Pat says, why do they keep casting so many new Darman actors? We miss the classic actors. Even the new actors from 2020 are being replaced, and the new actors aren't as great. Please put comments on the Darman videos, because I do think their team at some point reads the comments. So if you want to see a certain actor come back, like Shaylin, put that. Where it puts, where's Shaylin? We want to see Shaylin. You know, 
put your suggestions in there. Maybe they'll read it. Maybe it'll make a difference. Um, yeah, let your voice be heard. And I think the reason we're they're using a lot of new actresses because now that they're shooting five days a week, there's five, four or five productions going on and we can't be in every one. Like I'm turning down more projects now than ever because they'll say, oh, can you be in this? It shoots these three days. I'm like, well, I could do two of these days, but on this third day, I'm shooting this other one for you. And they're like, no, we'll replace you. But like um, when I shot Friday, I left my house at 6 a.m. and didn't get home till like 8.30 a.m. p.m. You got 14 and a half hours because I was shooting two that day. So I was in one in the morning and then I was in another one in the evening. I think it's just the, now that the productions aren't just like one day long, they're longer scripts, we're shooting three or four days. Some, there's one Shantae shot this week that was five days. So we can't be in more than one production at once. We can't be in two different sets in two different places doing two different stories. So they've had need to pull in some new actors. So, okay. Let's see. Oh, Weird Science. That's an 80s thing. I do remember seeing some episodes of Weird Science. Thank you, Frank. Um, okay, thank you for that reminder. <laughs> and then didn't they make a movie of that? Uh, Darn Man Without Catherine Norton is like putting shoes on without socks. So it's kind of slimy and sweaty and stinky. <laughs> Need to put a little baby powder in there first. Okay, Blake wants me to interview Mare. Oh, she would be an entertaining one. Was Shanta at your house for an acting job or a girls hangout? Neither. Um, I invited her to go with me on a trip in June for, I'm, I'm encouraging her to write her book. She's talked about writing books. She talks about it and I'm in, really encouraging her. So I had her come over and watch some videos on how to become like a best-selling writer and how to put your book together and stuff like that. Okay, let's see. Oh, thank you, Suzetta, for the Mother's Day wishes. And, oh, Colin, okay. Writing it down. Somebody's requesting I interview Colin. Oh, thank you, Amelia. Emilio likes my earrings. Uh, no, Jack just emailed me and asked if I was available for the Twitch video. Okay. Um, I see. Gotcha. Uh, can you interview Mary Chaplin Carpenter? Is she a, is she a Darman actor? I gotta write that name down. I'm not familiar with that name. Mary Chaplin Carpenter. Derek. Okay, thank you for the gift. Interview Mel Novak. Ooh, that would be a good one. You guys, Mel Novak is an incredible. He's like he. He was a famous actor in the 60s and 70s. I think he did, he he got famous for playing the character Stick. I, I, I'm an actor. You're, you're an actor too? Yeah. Yeah, he'd say, I was in three Darman videos. I was in three Darman videos. Do you want to tell him which three Darman videos you were in? I was three Darman videos. So you were in Husband Addicted to Fortnite. You were in the one that was with Mom and Son Cafe, which is with Chaz. And I think your famous starring role in the Darman video is in uh, Lady Doesn't Think God Answers Her Prayers. Wow. But you were an answer to my prayers. Yes, you were. You were the biggest answer to my prayers, weren't you? Hey. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay, so uh, Derek was requesting I interview Mel Novak. Uh, he he did a lot of movies in the 60s and 70s and probably 80s. He's still doing a uh, lot of Super movies, Mario. but he play he got Super. to do a uh, fight. I've found it. He got to do a fight scene with Bruce Lee, the famous martial artist, in the movie Game of Death, and he played this character Stick the Assassin. Um, 
Sonic, so Sonic cool. Hedgehog, yeah. That's what Frank says, Sonic Hedgehog. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, Brittany. I got her number in my back pocket. <laughs> Brittany, I'm not Brittany. Brittany's saying, you should interview um, Meryl Streep. Isn't that Brittany? Oh, interview Sophia sometime. The Sophia that you were in the feature film with. Okay. Sophia. I wonder if she does interviews. You know, sometimes teens don't. Okay, get your hand out of the way, bro. <laughs> I'm going to put you down. I'm going to put you down, cutie pie. Uh, Jordan says, hey, Catherine, rare and beautiful person. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, Sylvie Legacy says, you are one of the best, Catherine, and your eyes are amazing. Susanna says, she's having Mother's Day at her house. Blake says, I didn't audition. I just got offered a role. Yeah, you have to audition for a speaking role. So you'd have to submit yourself and, and audition for a speaking role. I don't... I've never heard of them giving someone a speaking role that doesn't audition. Unless there's some famous, famous YouTuber and it's like a collab or something. Okay, Alicia's asking, do you support Ukraine or Russia? Because I support Ukraine. To be honest, I don't know enough about what's going on in that situation. But from what I've heard, I would be on the Ukraine side. Uh, okay, with the vids. Oh, gosh, you guys. It's been 60 minutes. I can't believe you're still here. I am over my time. Yay. So I gotta get ready and go to church. So thank you for joining me. I hope you come back next week and then I'll be able to finish we're answering. To yeah, we're going to church. Oh, yes, we're going to church. Don't, you're going to wash your hands. They smell like garlic. I will see you guys next week. Have a blessed week. Happy Mother's Day if you're mama. And give them a kiss. See you next week. Bye.